If you've never been to the Mendocino Music Festival, you are missing something really fabulous. Hi, I'm Alan Pollock, and I am the Artistic Director of the Mendocino Music Festival. And the festival is a wonderful two and a half week event that takes place in July in the little quaint town of Mendocino, California. Uh, we erect a huge tent and we have the most glorious music you can possibly imagine. We have a huge classical program. We have an orchestra. And our orchestra is comprised of professional musicians from the Bay Area. Uh, audiences really love our orchestra and the audiences love the productions that we put on because there's a great energy to what we do and it sounds great and there's a real sense of family whenever these concerts occur. Uh, we also do chamber music. Uh, we've had groups up here that are just marvelous. Cronus Quartet's been up here. The Alexander String Quartet has been up here. The St. St. Petersburg Quartet has been up here. We have a wonderful piano series. Um, we've had the, some of the world's greatest pianists. We've had people like Gloria Chang come up here, who's a Grammy winner. Um, and these, the piano series is actually a lot of fun, very interesting, because not only do these people play, but they also um, talk about their music. Susan Waterfall has uh, done a marvelous job uh, presenting multimedia concerts, uh, exploring the lives of composers and different trends in music. These concerts have been very interesting. There's art from the periods and a lot of biographical stuff that's very interesting and you also get to hear um, the music that she's talking about. It's very educational and people, some people think this is the most fun concert and most uh, uh, enlightening concert of the festival. We also have pop music and jazz music. We also have our own big band uh, and audiences love this. It's on a Saturday night. The big band wears tuxedos. People go out for dinner. We have these gorgeous singers. If you like bluegrass and pop music, this is really, really a place for you to come. Where is Mendocino? Well, Mendocino's probably a good three hours north of San Francisco. You gotta come up by Highway 128 see all the beautiful redwood trees and the gorgeous scenery. When you finally get out from Highway 128 and hit Highway 1, you have the most unbelievable picture of, the, of, of Mendocino. You see the, the ocean and rivers going into the ocean from high headlands. The purest air you ever want to breathe. The most gorgeous country I think you'll ever want to see in your life. We perform in a huge tent. Um, on the headlands of Mendocino. We are, when you walk out of the tent at night, you are looking right at the ocean. The tent is huge. It's 160,000 square feet. It feels, when you're in the tent, like you're not in a tent at all. It feels like you're in a cathedral. The stage is huge. We have all the lighting, all the sound stuff we need, beautiful chairs. The tent is heated. You feel like you're in a concert hall. And then during intermission, uh, uh, you get to come out and there's cookies, there's wine, there's, there's all sorts of things, lots of friends to talk to. And I think that if you heard a concert, any concert, but even especially the orchestra concerts, you get a feeling when you came to this concert that uh, it was special because the musicians were so involved and so absolutely happy being up here. There's a real sense of community um, amongst everybody that is involved with the festival. And as a matter of fact, the festival is a community event. Everybody in Mendocino participates and there's a lot to be done. We have about 300 volunteers uh, to, to help put up a tent, to help decorate the tent, to help fundraise, to serve food. A tremendous number of people helped house the musicians. And it, this is what makes the event so special. We wanted to create an environment where musicians were treated well, where musicians were loved, so that they could really make the music they loved in the best way they could. It is a grassroots festival. It's run on love. And uh, I think that's the best thing you can run on. That's the one thing you can depend upon. And that's why the festival has lasted so many years. People have always come from out of town, from all over the nation, and when they happen on Mendocino and they see our gorgeous, huge white tent over the ocean, they say, I didn't know this was here. This is fantastic. And many have said that this is the world's best kept secret.